right hello 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 to all of the libras out there sun moon rising and venus welcome to visions of light and love this is your reading your general reading for the energy in august all right if you are a returning viewer welcome back if this is your first time stopping by welcome 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 and if the reading does not resonate with your situation Feel free to check your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal private reading, the links will be posted in the description box below this video. If you are interested in Alliance Gate Portal reading, the um, information is posted on the community section of this channel. I will be going live tonight for live questions and answers. If you are interested, these questions well, it will be one question for free. You are welcome to join in if you are wanting to. We are going to do a past, present, and future spread here. All right. So you have the double card in a reverse at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn's energy. Could be done with the Capricorn. Cancer Pisces energy is here as well. All right. So let's see. So Libras, I feel like in the past, <clears throat> from what I'm seeing, there was a relationship, a stable relationship here. I feel like you were kind of like lighthearted about this union. You wanted to heal something with this person. Could be someone you were with for a long time. But something here in this union changed and it caused you to feel uncertain about the future of this union. It caused you to feel like your person was hiding something, keeping secrets, keeping you in the dark about some things. And it left you feeling wounded, feeling like you put all this work into this union, things aren't going the way that you want them to. And I feel like you were still willing to work on the relationship, but because you you're still willing to work on the relationship. But I feel like you're just viewing this person as being secretive or being sneaky. Okay, right now you could be focused on your money, focused on building at this time. You may be giving this person the bare minimum. Okay. I definitely feel like I see communication about stabilizing a union. Okay, but I feel like one person is trying to rush in and the other person is trying to take things slow because of this sneaky energy. Someone here is being sneaky because in the near future, I feel like, again, it's some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I feel like one person is pulling back, like trying to take things slow because they know their worth, their value. They want something stable, long-term, possibly something that's leading to towards marriage this person could also be trying to um plan for the long haul the long term the long term a long term commitment or something like that and someone here is focused on their finances some of you may work with this person but i'm definitely getting some one person here wanting to build a solid foundation and the other person is just like trying to hide something or keeping something to themselves okay you could be looking to this person but this person is looking in another direction okay this person is looking in another direction this person i feel like this person is hiding something someone here is hiding something And I feel like whatever this person is hiding, I feel like it is going to come to light. Someone's tired of the toxicity here. Tired of the secrets. Let's see. What is, what is this moon card? What is this secret? Let's see. Let me know in the comment section below if this story is resonating with your situation. 
Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image to help the video circulate and to show that you support this channel. What is this moon card? What is this secret? Okay. Uh-huh. So this could be the divine masculine energy. Okay, this person may be working out a lot, may be really fit, um, good looking, got a nice body, but I feel like this person's intentions, someone here has deceptive intentions. I feel like this person is thinking about someone else. I see this person thinking about someone else. Someone here could be in a same sex relationship as well. But I'm definitely getting someone being deceptive and sneaky. There's some temptation here that this person is hiding. I feel like it may not have come out to the light yet. Someone here has made some, someone here with this self-love was definitely in the past thinking about themselves. And I feel like someone created some memories with a, this, a, another person, but it was um, kept in secrecy. So this could be like someone here in a, in a strong foundation, but also building in another relationship with someone else but it was like kept a secret and it could have been disguised because i feel like these these two people work together because i see a family here so some of you are married to this person or there's some type of long-term commitment here but there's another energy here and here's the card third party it popped right out this is a third party situation and I feel like someone here is attracted to someone else. Okay? Could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Someone here is attracted to an external party. There's a lot of passion there. Could be some hot, steamy sex going on. But I feel like this person may be suffering in silence. That's another thing they're keeping to to themselves they're suffering in silence because this person is um reminiscing about the past or reminiscing about someone from their past and they could still be building within this relationship but it's like one person wants to move forward and start over and the other person doesn't oh okay Yeah, it's like someone here wants to rebuild this union because they're in their comfort zone. So they may be coming in. Libra, this could be you wanting to come in to offer a new beginning in love with this person. But, but I feel like this other person is on another page now. Someone here is not wanting to move I feel like this person is wanting to give you another chance, but they're guarded. They're protecting their energy because of this third party. Yeah, someone is coming. Someone here is guarded, protecting their energy, and more focused on themselves now. Not really so much focused on a relationship, but focused on their finances, focused on building their money. Someone could also be focused on relocating, balancing out their energy. This could be you, Libra. I'm seeing someone here. I, I don't know why I'm getting like someone here could be focused on relocating, like building their finances to relocate. Because this is definitely a couple that... Um, I see a couple here that's not on the same page. It's like one person is focused on the finances and the other person is focused on partying and having a good time. All right, let's see what else is here. Someone here is suffering from some inner childhood wounds 
or this is a situation where children are involved and the children are hurting or something like that. Something about children. I'm definitely seeing someone here relocating. Like someone packed their bags up and moved or they will be moving. Okay. But, it's, but I'm also getting someone here wanting to start over. It's like someone is clinging to the past. But this relationship could be over. It could have grown, it's, um, run its course, okay? And someone here is wanting to leave. This could be a Leo with this courage card here. Someone's avoiding a conversation, having deep regrets, but not really keeping their feelings and their emotions to themselves. And it's because they fear what this other person is going to say or or how this other person is going to view them. If you have already released yourself from this union, this person is um, wanting to reach out to you, but they, they're in fear because of what they've done or some things that they may have said to hurt your feelings. They want to come in and communicate. Could be a Virgo or a, a Gemini. This person wants to communicate now. They are thinking about the past. They are reminisc reminiscing because I feel like this person was confused. They were confused. They were wearing rose tinted glasses. For some of you, this person was listening to other people. Third party energy. And now that some time has passed, this person is wanting to communicate. But I feel like this person could have been controlling as well. I'm feeling like someone here was very controlling, but they had an epiphany. Okay. Someone here had an epiphany and they're ready to plant new seeds. All right. Why is this double card here? Why is the double card here? Yeah. Someone wants to uh, move, re move away from this toxic energy. They're open to discuss the truth now. Open to discuss the truth, open to receiving the truth, open to um, expressing the truth. They're ready to take this mask off that they were wearing. They have doubts, though, but they're willing to stay in the present moment in order to come together. Yeah, in order to revisit this union. Someone here had to learn their self-worth and set their expectations higher. So I do see someone here wanting to reconcile, but I don't know. Is this person still in the third party? Yeah, I feel like they have to put an end to a third party situation. So they may be doing so around the fall season. They may be detaching from their situation. All right. So I will say tread lightly. But I'm going to leave it at that, Libras. This is your reading for the energy in July. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be blessed. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Peace.